Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Plays, where it's time for another Dyson Sphere program update. And in last Wednesday's stream, well, I um, I got Purple Science up and running in its own little town area. Um, however, it's not running quite as effectively as I would like, because we're a bit short of some of the resources for it. Let's have a look around what we're actually short of here. Yes, whatever's supposed to be coming out of here is the processors we've run out of completely. So, um... <laughs> I, I, I came up with this cunning plan where I thought, right, I'll have all of the, lots of the inputs made elsewhere around the around the factory and I'll ship them all in by logistics. Unfortunately, as you can clearly see, the processor production is not able to keep up. If we look inside here, the, the bucky tubes are fine. We've got a full, a full, full, uh, a full 3,000 of those and a little bit more because apparently something can't count. Uh, we've got a full about, about three, just over 3,000 of silicon as well, which we're using over here. And we've got all the plastic we need, and we've, and we've got basically no purple science. So, um, yes, it's running a bit, we're running into a bit of a problem there. But, looking at the way it's supposed to be working, well, over here, we've got a supply, we're making the, um, the silicon, we're turning silicon, no, the normal refined silicon into silicon crystals in the smelter. So, you basically, use, you cook it yet again. That's a one-to-one -one recipe, so I've got, what I've, what I've got here is a double belt going in, and then two belts coming out that emerge into a double belt into a double high belt there so we've got that that's coming through quite nicely as always we're painting all of the inputs we've got a nice supply of paint coming in here so that's work that's working quite well ah just, just, just tower in the middle of the screen and then the, the rest of this area is taken up by making the uh, the broad broadband cables what they call broadband uh, particle broadbands um, which I'm just going to carry on calling broadband cables because that appears to be what kind of what they are uh, so that takes in the um, the bucket, the the, uh, the bucky tubes, the um, the the uh, sil silicon crystals I was talking about, and some titanium. Cooks, all, uh, excuse me, yeah, oh no, plastic, sorry, plastic, not titanium. Cooks all of that together, and it produces the um, the the the, uh, the cables. Now, the way I've set this up, we've got the input belts snake all the way around, up and down, and back up again. So you've got a huge long trail going through all four of these rows of um, of machines. But then I've um, then got separate belts, two separate belts coming out with the actual cables themselves because they're getting overfilled slightly. Probably because all of the um, inputs are on a double height, double stacks along here. You can see, so we're getting. Let's let's check the recipe. Um, okay, no, we should be okay. Oh, it's probably because of the productivity paint on all of these. So we're getting. We're, we yes, we're putting in double stacks, which means we should get a single stacked belt out in total because it gets two to one there. But it's actually 120% of that because we're getting the 20% boost on the product. So I wanted to increase that a little bit. So I've got I've got it coming out here, being stacked, and then put onto a single belt here. And that all works not really nicely. It's uh, it's producing then a, um, a a double double high belt. Well, it's, it's not actually going to be a double high belt. When the, if this machine if these machines are actually running properly and we weren't out of processors, then this would be running through at just at, at basically 120 percent, if it, rather than the 200 percent we're seeing at the moment. But you know that's that's close enough. <coughs> oh, here's some processors that have been delivered. Um, I bet that's not very many of them. No, they've, they've, they've all gone already. It was it was it was that many. It was like one 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 drones worth. So yeah, it's a bit pathetic. We get a, a brief burst of um, production over here, spits out some science, and then it goes back to sleep again. So yes, it's not really running at quite the um, quite the speed I'd like it to. In order to get this up and working, I needed to do some um, some, some carbon processing. So over here, we've got another tower, and this one's bringing in coal, stone, oil, titanium, and paint. And over here, we've got the same sort of same sort of setup with the with the rows of machines, and I quite like setting them up like this because it means you you have you can then set you can put you can extend it out that way if you need to, you, and you don't need to think too hard about how where stuff's being fed in and out because it's just simple belts going straight up and down, and there's always room to put the productivity paint on everything as well. So what we've got here is a system that's make, turn, make turning the coal into the energized graphite, which is then being fed out, doubled up. We've got the double high belt coming through here, as you can see, being fed through merrily. That's, that's absolutely fine. And coming over here, and then we're making here we're making sulfuric acid. So we're pulling out the we're pulling out all of the ingredients for that, which is what uh, oil, stone, and water. So I've got, I've got the pumps over there that are producing between them. They are producing a full belt of water, which is just about enough. Producing the acid from all of that again, it's getting and then it's getting painted over here along with the carbon, and that's what. That's where we're able to make it into the bucky sheets. So the the carbon, what are these, what are these even called? Graphene, isn't it? Just graphene. Okay. So they come, they are there, and they, and those. I'm, I've decided that I want to have those and the bucky tubes, these ones, available on the logistics network. Because I'm pretty sure they both get used for things. So here they're being stored up. We've got plenty of those because the, at the moment the uh, the tubes are only being used over there for the purple science, and that's stalled as we just discussed. So yeah, this is working quite nicely. We've got the the, uh, the long rows of these machines, and we've got a couple of belts bringing the um, 
bring the bucky sheets out. So we've got to, always got a decent supply of them, enough to enough to feed both into the tower and into the and into the tube making machines, uh, which then combine it with the titanium to make the bucky tubes. And that's working. As I say, as I say, working really nicely. We've got a decent supply of that in here. Everything's great. So the processors, yes. Let's go and find out why those are failing. So we can fly over here to here where I'm making the. Um, making the processors. Now it looks like we are very very short of um, electronic circuits and we're short of electronic circuits because we're short of copper. Now, yeah okay there we go there's a little burst of copper coming out so that'll be one a drone arriving and another drone arriving but they're not coming in as thick and fast as we need them to. So it looks like I'm going to need to head out and build up another um, copper mine somewhere on this planet. Um, that shouldn't be too difficult but it is. It's, this, this is what's causing the problem over here and I wouldn't be surprised I was going to say I wouldn't be surprised if there's a shortage of normal circuits, but there doesn't seem to be yet, um, because I know we're going to be using the copper for that as well. So I'll, I'll, that's something I can go over and, and check out to make sure it's um, make sure that we, make sure it's okay. But I think if I get another copper mine up and running, then hopefully that'll be enough product that will be that this will be able to run quite happily. Um, and then once we've got the, a nice steady flow here, I think I'm probably going to have to expand this because I strongly well, one thing we've run out of paint, which is making things a little bit worse. But also, I suspect that one row of one belt of um, circuit of processors, which is what this can produce at best, is not going to be enough. So I think I'm going to need to make a copy of all of this, drop it in here. So I've got another belt's worth of it, and I'm also going to need to investigate why we don't have any paint coming from over here. Now, is this a bait make it on site or is this a bring it in else from elsewhere? This is a bring it in from elsewhere, but apparently my paint manufacturing areas are not keeping up at the moment. And I think that might be because there was a coal shortage at the end of the last stream, which I've now at least gone out and, well, I've put in another coal mine. I don't know if it's sufficient yet. And the fact that we haven't got any paint through here suggests that maybe it's not. But this is uh, what, what we're doing here. We're doing blue, blue science here. And this is now, as you see, completely run out of the paint. So we're not, we're not shipping that out. And that's supplying rather a lot of production so it's, it's trying to supply the, the green circuit is this green circuit yes green circuit production over here processor production over there and blue and probably even red science over there so maybe that's a bit much and one of these should also be summoning in uh, in the paint as well the problem with doing that is that there's a limited number of there's a limited number of slots in the tower now that isn't a problem here i could have this asking for paint as well because we do have room for that but more seriously we'll eventually we'll start to run out of the number of um insert in and output um points on the tower. So at the moment I'm using four of them for for the for the processors. So that means I could triple this and use up all 12 around the outside of the tower. Uh, so I could have yeah, yeah, three times the production production going through. That would be quite nice to have. Uh, three times the production is is a good amount of production, but if I use paint, if I had paint coming out of one of those, then either I have to try and double up one of these inputs or outputs or I then end up um, not only being able to have three sets of, of stuff coming off here. Now, doubling it up wouldn't be too difficult. If, if, I, I, I would be able to do that with the stackers, so maybe that's something worth considering. But at the moment, I haven't I haven't done that. I haven't gone to that gone to that sort of level. So, it, that, yeah, that's not done. Another possibility would be to would be to double up all of these stackers and then make this twice as long. So get twice as many um, pr processes being made here. Have two belts run along here, stack them up, and then put them into the single single uh, door into the into the tower. Um, that would again, that would also work quite nicely and given that there's quite a lot of free land over there and if I look on the map view it's getting a little bit close to a pole but I think this is going to be quite usable. Yeah I think actually doubling the length of this would be quite would be quite a nice way to increase the process of production and then obviously handling the um, the number of um, uh, the, the quantity of stuff on all the belts with with more stackers and things, so that should be do, should be doable at this stage. I think um, I'll need to be careful with the which one's this uh, silicon? No, green. Yeah, silicon because that's being double stacked already. Um, probably presumably because over here the uh, these things take in twice as much silicon as they do anything else. Yes, there we go. It takes in twice as much. So I'd need to I'd need to quad stack this, but that is doable. Um, with the belts I have at the moment, it would take two outputs, but I mean that's, that's still manageable. I, 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 I can do that. So that might be the best way to do this. Um, but that's the thing for next time. We'll we'll try and boost the productivity there. Another major um, thing I've built up now is this uh, wonderfully curved paint factory down here, and this is where all the all the um, the coal needs to go. And we've got how, how are we doing here? We have. We have a, some being brought, but we're still very, very short of it. So I think I'm going to need at least one more coal mine. But the idea is this area is just making paint and putting it onto the logistics network. So we're chucking out massive quantities of coal down here. It's then being picked up, but it's then being turned into the carbon, into diamonds, and into into tier one paint, and then all of that is being turned into tier two paint, which we're painting on the way out of here because it occurred to me that 
rather than painting the paint on sides, it's probably easier. This, this is one of the few things that only has ever has one machine that it gets used in. So if I paint this because it comes through here, that's probably going to be a bit more efficient. So yes, I'm going to need to find more coal mine, coal mining patches. Uh, there, there, there's a coal vein. I could, I could build up a mine there. I'm going to need more copper. Um, that might be trickier. I don't know. We, we yeah, we see. Oh yes, we are running really, really low on copper on this planet. So I think it might be, might be about time to think about going out and looking at these planets for copper. So how are you for copper? You've got a million. You've got 15 million. So I think it's time to go out to um, Alifa 4 and set up some massive copper mines out there and then start shipping copper back to uh, back to Norvis in huge quantities um, by logistics spaceships. So I think that's going, that's also going to be high on my to-do list for next time. So I'll uh, try and get that done. Coal is, is all going to have to come from this planet because it doesn't really exist on other planets at the moment. So, uh, But there's, there's, there's quite a few patches of it there, and there's still 8 million of it on this planet. So I'll probably be okay. I just need to put in a little bit of effort going around setting up the, setting up the mining uh, patches for that. So yeah, that's the, that's the, the painting area. It, it has this lovely curved look because we're getting in quite close to the... Um, uh, here we go, painting area. So if I go, if I go into grid mode... You can see you can see that now because we're getting so close to the poles, the grid isn't so much a square grid anymore. It's a very very curved grid, and we've got these very 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 regular um, line uh, trop lines of tropics. So we can't. So I was able to squeeze in two sets of this in, in between here, but I wouldn't be able to put another set in here, for example, because there just isn't room for it between the two sets of tropic lines. And copying and pasting stuff between um, across when it goes across on these yellow lines just doesn't work. The game won't let you do it because nothing's going to line up properly. Now there's room down here where I could put some more in or I could have some more on the other side going out this way and this way which would probably be quite a nice way of doing it. Now, and at the point where we start to realise we don't have enough paint but we do have enough coal that's probably how I'll do it. But at the moment we don't have enough of either to do well anything really so uh, yeah this is going. To, this, is, this is currently a little bit of a problem. But we are producing it, we do seem to have enough coal at least right now for this to be running flat out so I guess we'll find out in in in, in in time whether this is sufficient whether this is producing enough paint and we're just filling up all the buffers or whether this factory is insufficient and I'm going to need to double it going out the other way and using lots of my landfill up looking over here there is another coal there is a small coal patch that looks insufficiently um mind, should we say, because there's quite a lot of patches out here that aren't touched. That said, they're, they're in kind of awkward places because there's, there's a lot of water here. Now, I could come in with the landfill and, and, and sort that out, but um, I'd rather not if I don't have to. Let's see, so what else have I been doing? Well, there was a bit of messing around with um, with the logistics system. So, in the in the in, uh, last week, I talked about how I'd set up a, a system that allows me to put little sendy boxy things on top of um, all of my um, on top of all of all of the storage containers around the around the factory, and that means that the, the then I've got little logistics bots that will bring stuff out to me when I when I need it. And I've been adding lots and lots of things to my request list in here, which is now very very nearly full, and that's a bit of a problem. I also have no idea where I'm going. I've definitely taken the wrong way around the planet, the long way around the planet. Yeah, so on top of all my storage crates now, and I've got I've now got storage crates on every every machine along the bus that's outputting things that I'm going to want to have in my inventory. So things like building buildings that I can use on uh, to, to make when I'm out, out there building things. Um, like the, like this one and this like the splitters and the science machines and uh, the painting machines and so on. So all of the stuff that I might want brought out to me, I hope, I think, has now got a storage chest with a logistics distributor on it that's full of robots. And that means these can then bring stuff out to me. I can go through all of these things. I can say I want to have always have at least 100 assembly machines in my inventory. And the robots will come along and they'll fly them all out to me. Or I might say I want to have at least um, however many stackers I've put, which is currently... Yes, I've said I want to have between 50 and 100, and I've currently got 65. So if I take, if I take, take these stackers out of my inventory and chuck them in this box, like this then the robots will immediately bring them straight back out to me. Which is quite unexciting when I'm standing here just chucking stuff in the boxes there. But it's very, very useful when I'm somewhere else on the planet and, and, and want stuff brought out to me. The problem with these things is that they only they only have a certain range on them. And, the, and I've been working quite hard on upgrading those because they're so useful. Um, so here we go, we've got distribution range. That's got a plus 30% distribution range. This one's plus 30%, this one's plus 20%, this one's plus 20%. So now I've got a total distribution range of 140 degrees, which means I'll be brought all of that stuff wherever I am on the planet, except if I'm all the way around on the far side of it. So I've got 140 degrees out of the 180 that will take me all the way around. At least I assume that's how it works. And it's not saying that it will do 140 degrees around the planet. Um, t 
total, I'm assuming it's 140 degrees either way, because that makes more sense. Um, and so it's covering most of the planet now, and then that means this one here, this gets you the last 40 degrees. So then if, we're, if I do this one, which requires green science, which is why I haven't done it yet, um, then we'll get 180 degrees distribution range. So they'll be able to ship stuff to me anywhere on the planet, and that'll be really handy. And at that, by that, by the, but I'm, I'm a bit concerned that by the time I've got green science, the planet will be full, and I'll have gone off somewhere else to do all my building, so it won't actually help. But, you know, it's a, it's sort of, it's, it's a starting point. I've also been going through and doing lots of other uh, bits of research, like the uh, solar sail lifespans. So if we have a look at my Dyson Swarm at the moment, um, you'll see that these two gaps in here. That was when the, um, the, 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 the research ticked over, because these ones are, have the shorter lifespan, these ones have the medium lifespan, and these ones have the, current, have the longest lifespan. Um, so at this point, these ones got launched with the old lifespan, then the research got done, so the new ones that were launched, then instead of, instead of having uh, 5,700 and whatever seconds, they, they were, had the extra bit, so I'm talking about to 6,600. 6, so these are now run, my solar sails will now last for 9,000 seconds, which is about 15 minutes, I think, which is pretty good. That's a, a decent amount of time. But despite that, they're still I've still only got 68% 60, satisfaction. Now, this is a bit, this is a little bit funny. So if I look at my um, power graphs down here, We'll see that I'm getting. I'm actually got plenty of power available at the moment. I've got generation capacity of 287 megawatts and a consumption demand of 100 of about 170. But these are showing a demand. These are showing um, that the solar the Dyson Swarm is showing only a, a two-thirds satisfaction. So what I think is happening is that the um, the Dyson Swarm is saying, well, you've got however many of these dishes on the on the ground. Um, therefore, to keep all of the, to keep to get them fully satisfied, we're going to have to be shipping out that times four megawatts. Um, and up here, I'm only producing that times two and a half, three megawatts. However, down here on the planet, I'm only using up half of the amount of power that's being generated. Okay, slightly more than half. So therefore, the amount of the the um, whilst the, this the, but whilst the Dyson Swarm isn't capable of producing enough power to keep all of these um, dishes at 100%, it's capable of producing enough power to power my entire base. The other thing that might be a slight um, that might slightly throw, throw those numbers off is the fact that I also have quite a lot of wind turbines um, because the, these these are my early game power source. So you can see I've got quite a lot of these scattered over here, and and they are producing. Not a huge amount of power. They produce they produce 150 kilowatts each, which isn't a lot, but I do have quite a lot of them, and they are a steady, just always on power supply. So that is going to be helping as well. And there doesn't seem to be any obvious thing here to tell me where the power is coming from, just that I have this much power. So yeah, there's quite a lot of them out there. They're producing a certain amount of they're producing quite a bit of energy, and that's probably helping with the uh, the amount of power that's. Um, that, that's, that's been going and I've got a solar panel here that I, I I don't know where I got that from I can't remember if I made it because I found that I could and then decided it wasn't very good or whether I got one for free from somewhere and just or found it in a box so I, I don't know um, but I have one there's a coal patch here I should try and get some uh, mining drills in around this that'll be that'll be tricky so I've done, I have, despite the um, what I've been saying about actually appearing to have enough power, I've done a few things to boost my, the amount of power that's available. So as I said, I did these two researches to get the, to get that increased. I've done also done research into um, ray transmission efficiency, and this is this boosts the amount of um, energy that actually makes it through the atmosphere. So you've got a, a receiver on the ground that's capable of receiving four megawatts, and if you've got, let's see if it tells me. Yeah, we've got 41% um, energy dissipation. So that means in order to get that 4 megawatts down to the planet, you need to provide just under 8 megawatts because you're losing almost half of it. Now, if I boost the efficiency with the, by doing these researches, then that number is going to drop. And therefore, in order to get 4 megawatts down to the ground, maybe I'll only need to produce 7 megawatts or 6.5 megawatts or something like that. And so that means that then the amount of power being produced in, in the uh, Dyson Swarm, it's not, that, it's not that we're producing more power from these things. It's that we're able to get more power down to the ground so they don't need to transmit quite as much of what they're sending. So potentially, that's going to help as well. The other thing that I've been told is a big improvement that I can now now start to make is, is making these Dyson Sphere components. And these are made out of frame materials, which are kind of expensive, and uh, solar sails and processors, which are also kind of in short supply. But, you know, I can I can probably start making them. And apparently this then fixes the, um, the, 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 the problem with the solar sails dying after a while. If they've been attached to a Dyson Sphere component, then they're a bit stronger and it works a bit better. So 
I can start shipping if I start shipping, launching these instead, which means which means I have to use this small carrier rocket instead of the big guns I put up. Then using these, I can get the uh, them up there, and they'll 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 stay there and carry on and keep producing power forever. I believe. If I'm wrong about that, please do tell me. But I believe that's the way it works. So um, I think yes, upgrading to those is going to make quite a big difference. So that's something I want to. That's something I quite like to do. Um, the problem is it's going to take quite a lot of stuff in order to launch that in order to make these and I don't know if my resources are currently capable of keeping up but it's, it's a thing I can build those and see how it goes the next and possibly last unless I think of anything else thing I want to talk to you about is, um, is again related to trying to get the uh, Dyson Swarm to work a bit better um, or and, and by work a bit better I basically mean produce more energy um, and that was that that's a, that's a, a change I've made over on Titan so I'm gonna fly over there um, which is going to take a moment or two. We're, we're less than one AU away, so it's not going to be too bad. And uh, now pick up speed because I'm pointing in the right direction. And while I'm on my way over here, I would like to ask you, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, to please do so. I know from the stats that I see that probably only about 50% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if I could get you to all subscribe, that would immediately double my subscriber numbers, and that would be fantastic. So yeah, please, please do. I'd um, be very, very happy if I could get, uh, if, I, if, if I could, if I could double my, double the number of uh, subscribers I've got. Also, please remember to check out the uh, channel sponsor. That's trefoil.be. If you go to trefoil.be slash Lawrence Plays, you can get your first month of um, of a game hosting server absolutely free. So, what I've done out here on the on um, on Titan is I put in some additional machines to make the uh, the solar sails, and these are now working quite well. This you can see the the belt is now rather full. We're only <laughs> so I've gone from I think three of them to to having a lot uh, of which about five are maybe working um, so that means I've now got a full belt going around here so we're actually launching more solar sails than we were before and you can see that if we look at the graph here so this is where it was before going more or less flat at so this this sort of level with some peaks and troughs so basically this sort of level now it's flat at this level so we've gone up from about 180 per whatever the time unit is uh, to about 250 well 245 per time unit so we're getting quite a lot we're getting a bit more of the, a few more of them launched which is getting which is going to help with the satisfaction up here and now I've got such a much better um, stream of them coming through that I could probably come out here and double the number of these guns and then get a much better Dyson Swarm up and running. That said, given what I was saying about starting to, wanting to start making the, um, the Dyson Sphere components instead of, the, uh, instead of the sails, I think that's probably a false economy and I should probably stop this, I should probably stop sending all the parts out to here <coughs> and just let this sort of gradually churn through what it's got available and then slow down and stop working um, because otherwise it's just going to be it's, it's a bit of a waste if I, if I can make the solar sail components then having having all of these um, sails out in the swarm where they will eventually die is a bit of a waste I should be launching them by rocket instead and that'd be a much better idea so I think I'll probably do that instead um, and just leave this leave this to, to sort of gradually subside but I did think it was worth mentioning that over here we've now got like three times three times or four times the capacity of or capability for making the solar sails and so for the first time ever this belt is actually full and all of the guns can fire as fast as they possibly can based on you know time of day and having having a view of the of the uh, of the um, Dyson swarm they're trying to shoot at so I believe that covers everything I wanted to talk about today. I think um, it's been a, it was a reasonably good it was a pretty good stream. I think I got um, a, a, some, some some expansion done. I managed to get the next science pack up and up and uh, and 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 towned over here. So that's that's a good start. Even though I've now discovered a lot more um, resource shortages. So um, yeah, so I think that's got that's gone pretty well. I'm over here, of course. I've now got the. Um, the, the, the purple science being brought in by, uh, by, by by logistics drone and we have a reasonable supply of all three of them so there is actually quite a bit of purple science available for use blue science is still coming in on this tower over here because it's a, a loner and likes to be likes to be different uh, we are tr we're, oh, we're trying to supply paint from here oh, that's weird I don't know why we've even got paint mentioned on here let's get rid of that um, oh, we were feeding it through here yeah and there's another shortage of paint here as well so yeah th this I don't know what's going on here. Lots of things seem to be wrong, so we'll have to have a look at this at some other, some other time. Um, oh, there's no coal coming in here. That's why we've got problems. Okay, well, there's lots of things to look at next time. So um, come along and join me next Wednesday at 7.30 UK time. Actually, no, sorry. Next Wednesday, we're going to be starting slightly late. I've got a... a um, 
a meeting I need to need to need to be at, which is going from seven to seven. Sorry, seven thirty to eight. So we'll probably be kicking off the stream at just after eight, or as soon as I can, as soon as I can get it get uh, get away from the meeting and, and get going. So uh, we'll get the we'll um guess we'll uh, we'll have that next next Wednesday. We'll 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 make some more progress. We'll get some more copper, get some more get some more coal, get some more paint. Just try and get everything up and running at the speed I would like it to be um be running at. Um, there'll be a Factorio stream on Monday at uh, at 7:30. That one will be at the normal time, where we're going to carry on with goodness knows what. I've got more space science I need to play around with. I think I think the guys down on the uh, planet are going to be messing around with steel and modules and goodness knows what else. So uh, come along to that. It should be a good stream. We'll see what happens. And uh, there'll be various other videos coming out here, there, and everywhere. So keep an eye out for those. And um, as always, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out the sponsor, and you know all the other things a YouTuber will always ask you to do. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.